Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. Family meet the 14 year old quantum physics whiz who just became a graduate out of college. Let's take a look. I'm not a genius, I'm just kind of a normal 14 year old person doing uh, college level stuff. I was 10 when I graduated from high school. After I graduated, there was really nothing else that I could do. I couldn't stay at home just sitting down doing nothing for, for eight years. So it was really just sort of the next step academically as to what I would be doing. Um, I'm 14 and I'm getting ready to graduate. So after that, I'll be going on to graduate school here at TCU and doing research and, well, eventually getting my PhD, but then after that going into research and teaching. I would say my favorite thing about college is getting to... is getting to learn new things about maybe things that you never thought about, things that you never knew existed, things that you might not even think about thinking about. Out of Texas. A prodigy is going to graduate today with a degree in physics. NBC's Jacob Brascom shares his story. So we just plug these in here. Mastering quantum physics is impressive on its own, but what's most remarkable about Carson Hu Yu as the second derivative of position with respect to time is that he's only 14 and he's graduating from Texas Christian University today, their youngest graduate ever. I was. 10 graduating high school, so it's really the only thing that I could do. It's not like I could stay at home for eight years just doing nothing. His mom, Claretta, says she realized Carson was pretty special when he was just a toddler. Around age three, he loved math, and he asked me if he could learn calculus, and I thought, hmm. She homeschooled Carson until he was five when she knew he needed more. So she took me to a public school, and they said that I was way too advanced. I ended up going to a high school, private high school. A five-year-old in eighth grade. After that, I didn't skip anything and graduated at 10 years old. That 10-year-old boy dove right into physics when he got to TCU. It would become his major along with a double minor in math and Is Chinese. That? Professor Magnus Ritby became a mentor to Carson. One of the main principles have always been don't give him preferential treatment. Try to really treat him as uh, any other college kid. Of course, Carson really isn't your average college kid. I still play games. I have my little brother, Cannon. I still have friends my age. I have a puppy. I have all of those things that you would normally have, but it's just academically different. In the fall, Carson will return to TCU for graduate school and eventually his PhD. But this time, he won't be the only member of the family on campus. His brother, Cannon, just 11 years old, will be a freshman. When I come to TCU, I'm going to major in astrophysics and engineering. Claretta, the proud mom of the two youngest TCU students ever, says there is no magic parenting formula, just a love of learning. I was blessed that God gave me such wonderful little boys, and they love to learn. For today, Jacob Rascone, NBC News, Dallas. So there you have it, family. These two young men, bright as ever, they have a huge, huge opportunity in front of them. I'm so proud of these two, and it was a really great story. I had to share this with you. I hope you like it. Please share it. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru. I'm out.